So you've decided to build a pond or you're planning to build a pond. Either way, you want to make sure that the location you've picked is perfect. Hi, my name is Ryan. I'm with Bulletproof Landworks for a pond construction repair company. And today we're going to talk about a few things to consider when planning a pond. first thing to consider is the landscape, its ecological functions, and the values of the pond. Have a really good, clear image in your mind of what you want your pond to look like. Make sure you know exactly what you want to use your pond for. There's a lot of different ways to build a pond into what you specifically want. What is this pond even for? Is it for agricultural use where you're watering crops? Maybe you're watering cattle? Is it for just recreational use? How is this pond going to fill in into the landscape? How is it going to change the landscape? Is this going to negatively affect the environment or will it positively affect the environment? Look at the location's relationship to other environmental features. If you put a pond upstream of another pond, how is it going to affect the water flow to that pond? If you put it in a stream, how is it going to affect the stream? What's going to happen to the animals that live in and around that stream as your pond fills up. We always want these ponds to be a positive impact on the environment, so make sure you're doing this responsibly. Next up is determine how big of a pond you want. The size of the pond, the slopes that you want on the inside of the pond, do you want any fish structure in there? Next up, think about the distance, utilities, people, and animals have to travel to your pond. Is your pond gonna be for farm use where you are either irrigating so you have to run lines or you're watering cattle. How far away are you going to have to walk to your pond to enjoy it? Really have an idea of how far you're prepared to make these lengths. Next is the potential for pollution. Choose a site that's far away from drainage areas from farms, feedlots, and sewage. Make sure to redirect any runoff from those sources until they can be treated. Last, but certainly not least, is the risk of a dam failure. Wherever you're putting this pond, ensure if the dam were to fail, it's not going to have any negative impact or hurt people, animals, damage to buildings, or utilities. By considering these factors, you can find a great spot for your pond and help just more so ensure the success of it.